Hello and welcome to Your Simplified Coin Review. Today we are going to be looking at the Waves platform. So we're going to be looking at the token that goes along with it and also what Waves is trying to accomplish. But before we go any further, stop what you're doing, take your finger, hit that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it if you did. Become part of the crypto fam, follow us, uh, follow us along on news videos, funny videos. We've got all kinds of stuff going on here at the channel. So let's dive in on CoinMarketCap. As you can see, they have rebranded. Today is May 2nd. So uh, to give you a little reference point, depending on when you're watching this video, right now Waves is coming in at number 40, and it is up 12% today. Of course, that probably isn't relevant if you're watching this here in a couple weeks, or you know how the markets go, maybe even tomorrow. So Waves is at 81,719 Satoshis at the minute. The market cap is $745 million. The 24 hour volume is 42 million US dollars and the circulating supply is 100 million waves. Circulating supply is, you know, I can live with 100 million. That's not bad at all, honestly. I don't like to see numbers in the billions. 100 million, I can live with that. So let's look at the chart. It has been on coin market cap since about the summer of 2016. Let's zoom on in after January. So interestingly enough, uh, you know, a lot of stuff was crashing in the middle of January and Waves Platform actually managed to kind of hang tough through that time. In the middle of December is when it really peaked. And of course, then it did hit the dip along with everything else. And now it is on an upward climb. As you can see, it had a giant spike here at the end of April. We'll zoom in even a little bit further. So that must have been a Good day if you were a bag holder. It looks like about the 29th of April is when that was going down. So, you know, Waze has shown consistent movement. It is not as volatile as a lot of the other coins and tokens that we've looked at. Uh, Waves has not been showing up on our um, top uh, winners or losers that much. Of course, the day it had the spike, it was on the top winners. So, you guys can follow me along on Twitter at bitboy underscore hodl. And you can follow me there for, we do a lot of news tweets, some memes, stuff like that. But I recently put a poll on what I, what the people, if you will, wanted me to review. And they said the Waves platform. So that's why we're reviewing this today. Uh, so I'm going to be putting more of those polls up. So you guys make sure you go hit me up on Twitter so you can take part in that. And let me know what you guys want me to review. So to the website, get started with blockchain. It says everything pretty much they're trying to do right here in a quick nutshell snippet. Gain access to the Waze platform solutions for storing, trading, managing, and issuing your digital assets easily and securely. And right there, you can download the client. I have downloaded the wallet. We will look at that in just a second. So basically, what Waves is, it is, it is an ecosystem where the, one of the main functions of it is a wallet and you can store different kinds of cryptocurrencies on there from different blockchains and it leads up to, into a decentralized exchange so if you don't know what a decentralized exchange is the long and the short of it is it just means there's not one entity that owns the currency on the exchange because if you have your money on binance technically you don't own your own money binance owns it if you died where's that money at it's not in your wallet it's in theirs so a decentralized exchange works by creating buy orders and sell orders, and then the individual users of the exchange will fill those orders. So that's why if you have a coin that doesn't have a lot of volume on it, then you know there might not be anybody on that exchange to buy that from you. So that's a little bit about a, a decentralized exchange. That's part of this platform. We're gonna look at a diagram of the platform, but what most people know ways for is simply that it is a wallet that is trying to store different kinds of cryptocurrencies, and we're gonna check that out in the wallet here in just a minute. Uh, in 2017, we partnered with Deloitte to launch the development of a legal framework for wider adoption of blockchain technologies. If you don't know Deloitte, we did a news story actually a couple weeks ago, maybe about a month ago, on Deloitte. It is a consulting firm. It's one of the biggest four consulting for, uh, firms in the world, and they have a lot of big power clients. But Waves partnered with Deloitte, so that's a big partnership uh, to have one of the biggest four consulting uh, agency in the world, especially because as we'll look at later, Waves also is a way to create your own tokens. So there's maybe a platform for, uh, you know, some of the firms that Deloitte is working with to create their cryptocurrencies. It's extremely easy to create your own token on this platform. Uh, so I don't know if you can sell them. I, you know, I don't really know about making my own token, but we might actually make one in just a minute. That'll be pretty fun, right? 
Uh, I'm thinking meme coin. But anyways, okay, so the current version of their uh, of the Waves client is a wallet decentralized exchange and a tool to release tokens. Uh, your funds are stored in a blockchain address that only you control. You're the only person who can access your crypto assets. Uh, and then it just has some more data there. It has a decentralized exchange. So there are no limits on withdrawals, which is kind of cool. And no cryptocurrency purchased immediately appears in your wallet's balance. So they do have a small fixed commission price, and it's on a per, a per order basis. But here's the really cool thing about it. The funds you're using on this exchange, they're not kept on the exchange like Binance. They're kept in your Waves wallet. So the Waves platform is like this beta version that has the exchange, the tools launched to the token, and also the wallet on it. So I'll tell you guys something I absolutely hate, which is having money in a wallet and it taking so long to get that money out of that wallet and put it on exchange so you can get rid of it if it spikes. And so this could be a really cool solution. Like just imagine if Binance, like on Binance, you had your own wallet on there that was yours, that you had the keys for, that Binance didn't have access to, even though it was on their platform. Like, that would be so much easier to just store your all your currency in one spot and be able to trade on the exchange. So that's kind of what Waze is doing. So I think that's really cool. If you really think of the implications of that, um, that's really awesome. So let's go ahead and jump over and look at the wallet itself. So I went ahead and signed in here. This is the Waves client, as you can see. Um, you know, you, you up here in the left-hand corner, you can see there's a little symbol. They give you a symbol that's unique. I think it's kind of similar to a QR code. So right now, in the wallet aspect, you can have Waves coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, US dollar, Euro, Litecoin, uh, Zcash, Bitcoin Cash, Tri, and Dash. So that's pretty cool. There is a wider assortment, of course, than, you know, something like Coinbase, but obviously not a whole lot. You'll see on the decentralized exchange, there's a lot more coins than this. Uh, not a ton, but there are some on here. So this is the assets panel. This is where you're looking at, you know, your wallet and your holdings. So you come up here to the portfolio, and this will, you know, list what you have. Also, of course, you see I have zero. You have your transactions, and you have your leasing. So let's move over on the left-hand side here. You can see there is a candle chart. This is the decentralized exchange. So on the left side, it lists all of the different trading pairs. Um, so these are all U.S. Um, I'm sorry, these are all Waves trading pairs. You can trade Waves for. So you would buy the Waves, and then you would come here and you would exchange it. I think that is well, what this exchange is trying to do. Um, so if you guys have already been using this and actually trading on this, because I haven't actively traded, drop us a comment and let me know your review. Because my my review on the wallet is going to be limited because I haven't actually used it. I'm just basically looking at what it does. So as you can see, some of these have kind of spotty charts. That just means there's not a lot of volume on them. So, you know, it's kind of cool. It shows you the order book, of course, over here on the right. Um, so let's move on to this part. Let's make a token, guys. Let's try it. This is the token launcher. This is where you create a token. So let's create um, meme coin. I thought about a BitBoy coin, and we will call it Bitcoin. Okay, uh, description. Uh, this is memes on the blockchain. Total tokens. There's like 100,000 memes. Uh, how many decimals do we want? Probably It's probably not going to be worth many. Let's do like six decimals. So meme coin, your balance is not enough to pay transaction fees. So because I'm not having any waves, I can't actually create the coin. It sounds like a dumb coin anyways. But, you know, there is Pepe coin. You guys can look into that. It is actually similar. Poet is similar to something that brands your content. So that's my idea with meme coin. I'm sure somebody's already done it. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead. You can look down here at the settings, and there are general security network settings. We're not going to dive too deep into that. No pun intended. But let's get out of the wallet. Let's get back over here to the website. So that's pretty much the, the homepage of the website. It just explains basically what it is. I think, you know, this isn't a super complicated coin to understand because it's, it's actually pretty laser focused on what it's trying to do. So for developers, if you want to build on uh, decentralized apps on the Waves platform, you can do that as well. 
Uh, it's got a lot of features. It, it's an open source client application. Uh, you will have your own node. So, you know, that's pretty cool, I guess, if you are if you want to start building on this platform. We're going to look at the diagram in just a second. So here is the Waves team. Uh, it doesn't list names actually on the website. You can do some research and find those pretty easily, though. Um, but here is a picture. They are like real people, as you can see here. So, um, you know, they're actually looking for team members. If you have any of these skills, you can look that up on the Waves platform website. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for the website. The website's actually pretty simple from what I've seen, but it has good information. You can also read the white paper on there, um, as I have done. So here on uh, their blog, they just have some kind of stories. You can read those if you want. I don't really get into uh, reading all of the blogs. Um, but I found this. This is on their message board on Bitcoin Talk. And this shows their ecosystem. So this is the Waves blockchain. It shows how it works. Uh, Waves NG protocol, smart contracts, atomic swaps, and voting. The, the Waves client. Uh, it, it includes the wallet, decentralized exchange, token launcher, crypto gateways, fiat gateways, leasing. Uh, but I really wanted to show you guys the ecosystem. So as you guys can see, the blockchain is at the top level, and it works back and forth with the client which is the wallet, which we already looked at the client. I showed you everything that's in there. So, and then these are the underlying layers. So they have the Blockchain Institute, Better Tokens, Waves Lab, Liquid Wave, Basic Fund, and the Decentralized Apps Marketplace. And then Tokenomica is the bottom layer, which is actually not active yet. It's coming soon. And with that, you'll be able to provide compliant services to big businesses, enables corporations to launch their own token sales, open access to the benefits of crowd investment, ensures businesses meet all AML KYC requirements. So I just thought this was kind of a cool chart because at first glance, it's just pretty simple. You have the blockchain, you have the platform, and within that, you have the blockchain and the client. But this kind of shows you kind of some of the underlying layers of the platform. So you can check them out on Reddit. It is the um, r slash waves platform, and it's pretty active. It's not the most active I've seen. So I'll tell you what I found about the Waves community. The Waves community is super passionate about Waves. They all like the wallet. I think probably a lot of the community is already using it. But they all believe it's undervalued. Is it undervalued? I don't know. It may be. It may be actually undervalued. But for me personally, I just don't know enough. But pretty much to a T, every person who likes Waves says it's way undervalued. I've seen people saying like, man, if you missed out on Ethereum at $7, then you're going to hate yourself for missing out on Waves at $7. So, you know, things like that. It gives me a little case of the FOMO. It makes me wonder if maybe I should get in it. But, you know, none of this is financial advice. You know, this is just I'm just telling you guys some of my experience I've seen with their community. So you can check out their Twitter. They have a pretty active Twitter. They tweet about every day. They really focus on, you know, tweeting out actual news stories for their platform, which I really, really like. Um... Look, six reasons why Waves is undervalued right now. So, just like I just said, everybody thinks it's undervalued. I don't know if that means it is undervalued, but a lot of people think so. So, on April 28th, they tweeted this, uh, their liftoff. So, they launched their smart contracts. And we already kind of looked at what that is What that is for their blockchain. It's just a piece of their blockchain that, of course, works uh, you know, underneath the platform that you see. So that was pretty big news that came out. I think that is probably what, well, I can almost say definitely that's what caused the pump we saw a few days ago. So what's good about Waves? What's good about Waves is it is trying to do something that is pretty unique, I think. Not a lot of other um, coins are trying to create this wallet. It's their main focus. They're laser focused on what they want to do with this wallet. I really like that. Their social media team is pretty strong. They have a good community behind them. What do I not like about Waves? I would say the only thing that I do not like about Waves is that, um, as of right now, they just don't have, like, if you're selling yourself as one-stop shop for cryptocurrency, like a cryptocurrency wallet, then, you know, you need to have a lot of cryptocurrencies that people have. Pretty much, it has some, uh, fiat, uh, some fiat gateways on there, and then it just has the major ones that you can basically find on Coinbase. Of course, the decentralized exchange has a few more things on it, but and and you know this is the beta version. Obviously, this isn't where it's going to be. I don't know what the timeline is for when they're going to launch, you know, the full version. 
that is going to have a lot more crypto on it. But I just hope that in the meantime, between right now and when they're able to get all those cryptocurrencies on there, that someone else isn't able to come in and steal their thunder. Or, you know, who knows, maybe Binance will create some kind of platform that uh, they've already said they're creating a decentralized exchange. I just hope that Waves is going to be able to stay on track to get everything on their platform when they want it on there before anybody else is able to swoop in and do it. So I think that's the one bad thing is just not there yet. But of course, you know, I mean, look at EOS and Tron. I mean, they don't even have anything yet. So at least Waves has shown that they do have a product. They do have a beta version of this. So I think that's, you know, in a roundabout about way, I think it is a good thing. But they just got to make sure they stay on track and they don't miss any deadlines so that nobody's able to catch up to them. So I hope you enjoyed this review a lot. I enjoyed looking at this project. I know several people, like I said, they're very excited about this. And obviously on uh, Twitter, uh, the results of my poll shows that a lot of people are interested in Waves. So um, one thing I didn't mention, you know, with the Waves coin itself, it's like the underlying uh, native token, if you will, for the Waves platform. Thought I'd throw that in there for you. But you know what? I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Thanks for watching. Join the crypto fam. We appreciate everybody who follows us along. And until next time, that was your Simplified Coin Review.